Hey, this is Cameron with the Black and Yellow Garage. Uh, update to the previous video. We're doing the timing chain on the right hand side of the FA20. So, uh, what I did is with the harmonic balancer on and the, uh, the portion that drives the oil pump on, I went and got a crescent wrench because when I tried to use the uh, uh, bolt, it started to back out of the uh, crank. So, we needed to be able to rotate the engine counterclockwise. So my large crescent wrench fit on the uh, drive for the oil pump uh, perfectly and allowed me to rotate the uh, crankshaft counterclockwise approximately 110 degrees or something like that, which uh, put the key in the 12 o'clock position. Okay, and uh, this uh, rotating it counterclockwise allows you to uh, see that the right hand side is in time with the pink link in the line the pink link in the line and also on the left hand side the pink link in the line pink link in the line and then the final check is uh, we are looking at that little dimple right there it's uh, just offset a little bit to the right of the keyway and if you can see the, uh, the, line, the link is going to fit right there Okay, and also the black link on the bottom on the inside chain is exactly in that uh, sprocket tooth too. So uh, right hand side only needs to have the uh, guides put on and then the tensioner installed uh, and the grenade pin pulled. And then we can move on to uh, uh, putting the RTV on the timing cover and installing the timing cover. And... Uh, just wanted to make notation that that o-ring stays in place it has been the only one that has fallen on the floor so i've got to make sure that stays where it is going in uh and uh, this engine so far has not been all that difficult to build just the goofiness with the uh, torque specs but uh should have it in the car tomorrow i'm gonna do this right now it's about uh three o'clock and i've got to go somewhere later so we're gonna do the rtv on the timing cover and then allow that to cure uh, overnight. Then we have the uh, ejector pieces that were missing coming from Toyota. So we'll install all of the uh, accessories on there tomorrow and hopefully drop this whole engine in and have a uh, preliminary cranking of it. And I wanna just note that in every other video I've seen, uh, the engine was started with the plugs in. Uh, I never ever start an engine after doing timing uh, without uh, oil prime and the best way to do that is with no or the least amount of resistance that you can have so leave the plugs out rotate the engine uh, best to do that with the uh, fuse for the fuel pump uh, removed so the engine cannot start uh, and just uh, crank, let it rotate, let it rotate, and uh, do its own job of uh, priming the, uh, the engine with the oil. I've got enough assembly lube in here for plenty of rotations, uh, even in the uh, cylinder. So uh, this will be a real healthy uh, crank uh, when we first start it up, okay? So uh, never ever uh, start an engine up without a prime uh, of oil. All right, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.